guys welcome to our live trading session the music is on the btc sign is green but btc isn't very green right now i'm just looking at the trb chart from yesterday uh that was called on this session yesterday we've got a 27 percent move on trb uh since yesterday it's banged right into the 786 and look at this perfect rejection on the 786 do we need more magic do we need more science i don't know i don't think we do um i want to call up bruce here because bruce called this trade yesterday and i want to just give him this little uh money printer. It's important that we, we <laughs> celebrate our victories when we call these briefs. We do, what we a do. call. What a great call yesterday. Well yeah. done. Um, yeah, this thing has absolutely pumped. Guys, I've got David here as well. Uh, David's Woo! also got some stuff. So today, what do we have for you? Actually, I've got a I've got a render setup that I've got uh, that I'm busy prepping for you guys. You're gonna hear about it just now. I've got AVAX breaking trend, I've got optimism breaking trend. We've hit some of the shorts from yesterday, they're still cooking. Bruce has yep. got, what do you got for us? You've got Unfire um, for us. Uh, you've got Tomo. Tomo. Yep. Cool. And there's a potential WLD long that we've just taken as well. Um, mm -hmm. So guys, let's just get straight into this quickly. So yeah, firstly, well done on this TRB. Let's look at uh, where we are on BTC now. Um, still doing the same thing. Uh, we are in this four hour range that we've been looking at for the last couple of weeks. And now we're just tracking this trend all the way down. You know, we, we can't get too excited. This trend is basically like the happiness line because we get these alts pushing into trend with BTC and then they reject and then we go up and they reject again. So, you know, this trend we are watching very closely. What do I want to see on BTC still? Obviously, you know, the bull in me wants to see this break and this push up, but how do we get there? And, uh, you know, I think they're going to want to come and test some lower levels here. And uh, I've still got my eyes on the 618, this 25, 800 region i still think they want to maybe come have a look at this 618 uh if we go lower than that well we'll have to reassess everything that we're, that we're doing but right now you know maybe a wick down to that area and a little bounce could be ideal for this uh for the current situation and it could help things like avax and optimism which have now broken trend and they now want to hold onto the support so we're going to look at those just now uh bigger picture stuff on btc same story this is the two-day chart that uh, that we've been looking at clear downtrend here um you know if you look at it from this perspective things could easily just end up down here quickly and we could just track all the way down obviously that's not ideal that's not really what we want um you know we'd like to see a move of the 618 get to trend see how we act there maybe a break and retest and then go so you know that's a, that's one of the scenarios i'm quite keen on but again we got to watch the macro situation too this dixie's been pumping conditions aren't perfect at the moment so so we're going to play one step at a time we take what the market's going to give us right guys that's a lot of talking from me uh dave anything you're seeing on bitcoin different to what i've got you um so we're at the you know as we speak right now we are at the bottom we're getting close to the bottom of the Keltner channel but if you guys pay attention to what bitcoin did um on sunday you know, pierce through the Keltner channel and then it just kept going down. And, and so there's two scenarios I'm seeing. I'm, I'm seeing that we're going to U.S. session is, is open. I think uh, they're either going to send it up <clears throat> um, as a fake out around the heavy resistance area at 26,500. And then they're going to send it down to the weekly, which is at 25,822. Um, which is where a, a macro 618 is at. Okay, 25822, so, right. And we got our 618 there. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So look, it's a nice thick red candle so far. So we guys, we're going to keep our eyes on that. Uh, Matt says, what's up team? How's it, Matt? Good to have you here. Yeah, There's Matt. a few regulars up, here man? again. What's happening, everybody? Um, guys, let's take a look at this render setup that I've been talking about. Um, we, we touched on render yesterday. It was sitting on a few levels. Uh, didn't quite hold with uh, that pullback and now we are looking at a bigger area on render and uh, this is what we're looking at so i've got this trend coming up here from the lows i've got quite a few touches on this trend which is quite interesting to me you know we've got a we've got a trend from down there then i've got the 618 that we have pulled from that low and we have got uh some horizontal action going on too so I've got my eyes locked on the 618 area. It's starting to look like a nice potential bounce zone for me. 
Um, so what I'd like to see is just a little bit of up down, but I'd like it to come here, maybe just a little fake out down underneath this 1.427 zone, anywhere in that area, um, get a couple of longs in there and then just ride this bounce up. We can get maybe a 10% move here on render, just playing the 618 game. If that 618 fails, there's another strong area just underneath here, guys. Look at this. We've got solid horizontals and we know how these altcoins like the 786 as well. So backup plan here is 786 rebound. First prize is obviously the 618. So the 618, I'm looking for a move uh, probably up to this region here. Um, call it about 8% we're looking for off the 618. If that area fails, we should get some kind of reaction there uh, from the 786. And then we can ride it up to trend or possibly uh, this rejection zone. So I'd look for something like that uh, on render. Mm -hmm. Again, we're not trying to play big moves here. What we want to do is we want to take advantage of any bounces that the market gives us and we play percentage areas and we grab our profits and we take it and we run. Um, except on TRB, Bruce, which yeah. it sounds like you <laughs> you took your profit too early. <laughs> yeah, I think well, you took the profit of the 618. Yeah, yeah, I took the 618. But I mean, the reality is that you don't know. So you take your money and run because it could just as easily tank right back to entry or stop you out and just the same amount of time so if you're ready to well, look how money, quickly it's reversed yeah yeah so look at i mean guys again yeah. this the 786 with old coins look at that it's absolute perfection yeah. hearts hit that thing yeah. and it's rejected let's see what happens here you might get a buy and now at the 618 funnily enough uh there's some yeah. horizontals there you might catch something there now okay so so guys uh render yeah that's it for me the 618 uh that sort of region that's what i'm looking for for my next long play uh, then there's things like AVAX came out of nowhere uh, yesterday. It broke through this trend, this wedge. Um, yeah, suddenly it, it just caught my attention. It's looking interesting again. Um, but we're going to be tied into BTC here. So if BTC holds that uh, 618 that we're looking at on that pullback, I would expect AVAX to hold this region over here. And then we could get a nice little bounce for AVAX. And for me, a target on AVAX is this 9.24 region as, as first stop. And then we'll see how we go after that. Uh, but yeah, very interesting to see AVAX just mm. come alive again out of nowhere. I, I wasn't expecting that. Um, no. And then the same thing with, with Optimism. So Optimism, I don't have a massive target for Optimism because I can see this uh, this resistance area here in front of us, guys, this uh, 1.3 region. Um, it's quite near. So, you know, there's no long for me here on Optimism. I would expect a rejection if we do push up into that zone. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll just have to be cautious there if you are playing uh, the optimism game. Then I've got Theta for you guys. No, Matt says he loves the Fibonomics. Matt, what else do you need though? Eh? You, you, you need a couple of fibs and a smile. That's that's all you need for these <laughs> options. Eh? Um, okay, so Theta, <laughs> Theta, we've got a trend break. Um, yeah, Sheldon's keen on Theta. I think Mama Sniper's involved in Theta. You yeah. can see why, guys. This is a massive trend. This is a trend from April. We've broken it. It's starting to look very interesting. Um, let's see what we got here. It's got a 618 support at the moment. I'm zooming in here for you. So yeah, you can play this game on, on Theta. I think you can look for uh, look for buys, anything down to this horizontal here, potentially. Um, you know, and you've even got that 786. If you are a spot or very low leverage trader, you know, then you can deal with stops in these regions, you know, under 571, watch out for that wick there at 562, that sort of stuff. If you are using leverage, you know, you need to tighten things up again. Um, so look at around, yeah, 0 0.161, that sort of area. Um, and then, you know, if you look at this daily thing, we could potentially have big targets, but, uh, we need to play it step by step with BTC and we need to understand where BTC will reject if BTC is pumping. So the first thing you can do is just pull some uh, pull some of these fibs just to get an idea as to where we could target or what areas we could look at. So uh, potential shorter term targets if Theta moves. 6.8, 0 0.68. And then 0 0.75, that sort of area. And you can see it's the exact same principle I used on TRB, for example, where we are trying to figure out the targets. 618, 786. So just play that game uh, when you do get your trend breaks or your breaks of areas. Um, now, let's just update on some of these tokens from yesterday. We're going to see how they're doing. Uh, Atom was 
also lovely. We gave this Atom potential short setup on the on the session yesterday, mm -hmm. banged into a 382 horizontal, and we get the reaction we want, and here it comes. So this is all good now. If you are short Atom, you can bring your stops to entry and de-risk a little bit. The target, you know, it's going to follow BTC now, guys. So wherever BTC is going to bounce, Atom's going to bounce. So mm -hmm. eyes on BTC. Let's see where it settles. Um, the next major area, if it doesn't hold this low at 6.9, is going to be the 618 here, guys, 6.78. So that could be a power bounce there for us. So eyes on 6, what, 6 .8. 6.8. And there is an alarm on the Discord for you guys. Okay. Rune as well turning over. Uh, for me, Rune, it's a tricky one. Yeah, it's going to be either the 618 or we're going to track this trend uh, and play that. So just a little bit of patience here for Rune. Ave, this is looking interesting. This is looking mm -hmm. interesting. Um, we have lost trend though, so any bounces we're going to look to uh, look at potential rejection zones, or we need to take profit quite <coughs> quickly. Let's take a look. We're going to pull a trend across here. Okay, so again, we need to tie Ave in with corresponding levels on BTC. This is looking close to the first reaction area, guys. You can see why I like this area. It's a three eight two. And we've got some horizontal stuff happening here. Uh, if we do lose this zone, we're probably going to then end up drifting down to the 618 where we'll have the main the main baby there, uh, 57. Okay, so there could be a scalp brewing here during this session. There could be a scalp here at 60. So keep your eyes on this level, on Ave. Okay, DYDX, we called this short yesterday. I'm still sitting in a short on DYDX. Um, hit the second level. Hit this uh, this ne next area which was the 382 and then it turned over so i'd like to see lower obviously um i wouldn't be surprised if it came to visit this wick but we're going to play this exactly the way we're playing btc now we're going to keep our eyes on btc btc bounces nicely then we're going to look for uh, look at options here on dydx so right now i'm still in it it's approaching its own little 618 on this pool so let's see what happens here. You can see now we've got a uh, little 618 coming in there. So that's uh, 1.88. Uh, remote Cryptoverse wants to know about Gala. Funnily enough, Simon was telling us to look at a Gala long based on Lux Algo. Guys, you've seen on these shows we use Lux Algo a lot. Uh, there's a link in the description for Lux Algo. If you want to get stuck into Lux Algo, Simon sits on here. He does all the indicator stuff. We've got the order blocks. We've got all of that stuff. Link is in the description for Lux Algo. Uh, he's calling a Lux Algo potential long brewing on Gala, even though we weren't so keen on it because of fundamentally it wasn't looking great. But uh, yeah, I see his comments are in here. Uh, Simon, let us know about Gala there in the comments. Uh, and yeah, we're going to deal with all these other ones as well. GRT, uh, I'm still short GRT. Again, it hasn't fallen over the way I wanted it to. It's, it has reacted. You can see why I like this area initially, guys. Uh, we had the trend, we had the 382, we had the horizontal, and it was just a classic, uh, it was a classic trend break and retest. We, we lost the trend, retested it, rejected in a solid area, and then we wanted to send it down. So my eyes are on GRT still. I haven't exited yet. Um, look at that just to recap why we were keen on a short yesterday if we were longers and we were bulls we had the trend break we had the retest on a zone like this we would have longed that um and it's the same if you're gonna be short you lose that trend you look for that retest and then you enter that short so that's the principle that was followed there um my exit will be if we lose these highs at uh, 0 0.00888 there's no new entry now though that was yesterday when we were higher up there Okay, fetch. Um, guys, I see there's a lot of the coins in the comments here. Oh, unfire crypto. Yes, uh, Bruce has got unfire for you. He's yep. coming He's coming at you with some unfire just now. Uh, Simon says Gala's had just li literally gone green. Load Gala on the one hour. Lux. Okay. Guys, this Lux algo thing. Let's, let's pull up this Gala quickly. Okay, so we were teed up for a short on gala yesterday and let's just recap and understand why so let's get the four hour out here okay so basically you know what we do here 
old support becoming <laughs> resistant. We lost the support. Resistance bang, resistance bang. So you can see why it was a short setup for Gala. So now let's zoom into the one hour. Let's pull out uh, the Lux Algo stuff. And let's see what the wizardry is telling us. Okay, so Lux Algo gives us this, this complicated looking thing, which isn't so complicated. Uh, Simon explains it very nicely. Um, he says, look at the RSI. So let's pull up the Lux Algo RSI. It's this guy down here at the bottom of my screen. There it is. Okay, so that is bottoming out. So that looks like it wants to turn. So we use this as a guide as a possible reversal coming. And we we need this thing to print. We need it to print a green tick and a green triangle. I'm just adjusting my settings here. Let's see what it's got. Okay, so Simon, you're gonna have to keep us posted. What we see here is a it's a reversal here on the RSI. Okay, so that's positive. What I want to see here now, guys, is one of these things. I want to see a, a plus. So we want to see a little bit of a wiggle here, and then I want to see one of these little blocks print. And that should give us the signal to go long. So Simon, keep us posted in the chat there. Um, let us know. Okay, cool. Let's look at CRV. Let's do a CRV update. Wait, guys, we're still gonna we're gonna let Dave and and Bruce take over here, um, and then we're gonna get stuck into all your tokens here, including CRV because I'm still short CRV. So hopefully there's some more downside there. Um, Bruce, do you want to show us your Tomo setup? I think you muted. Hold on, let me unmute you. There you go. There we go. Okay, I'm muted. Sorry, okay. I was sneezing. I didn't want to sneeze in your face. Bless you. You are blessed. Uh, you, thank, you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah. Let me Actually, pull up your screen. I wanted to show something uh, interesting. Uh, last night, about 12 hours ago, on Discord, I put in a uh, the BLZ, the Buzel trade. And just a couple seconds ago, he was saying, like, look, with tokens like TRB, take your profit. Right? Don't. And I took it in 618 because that was a likely rejection zone. And sure, it put, went further. But you can't be attached to it. The last time I did BLZ, so we entered right over there uh, and pumped up in the middle of the night. I missed that. But right when we got on the show this morning, I decided to take profit right there. It's going, that's good enough. I'm going to take my money. It's at the same height as this level right there. Uh, and it rejected higher. And the reason is because of this. Look what happened since. While we were on the show, this candle happened. Right? So all that work would have gone away. Wow. So in this market, trends don't last long. Take your money, smile, say thank you, crypto guys. Take and what you get, next. guys. Take yeah. what you get. Yeah. We are not in yeah. a long bull market where we get these massive moves. I see a, I mean, a BLT that. alarms yeah. has gone off on my side as well. We just look at that. Yeah, yeah. Something, something's happening. Because there's Bitcoin, Solana, up are printing some pretty red candles right now. Okay, um, well, this is exciting. Yeah. So anyway, so um, here be we did that one. Yeah, that was sweet and it's not dropping much it's kind of did a red candle and now it's a doji and now it's pumping again all right we'll see what happens that's pretty funny is that you making all that noise is it <laughs> every time i change the screen the same you, alarm you, you, same alarm you have a mouse over there you've got a mouse <laughs> uh okay tomo um tomo is been in range forever and is yesterday it was in the middle of that range and it is working its way down so patience with this puppy um but if it starts to make its way down one more time down into the to, to that range right over there i'm not going to give exact number yet um you can start to look for building up along uh, i like the fact again that it had a there's a low and it made a higher low so that's indicating that liquidity is building up in that area. Um, but uh, let it come down. I'm going to let it come down, let it reject one more time and try and pick it up kind of in that area right there. Uh, as soon as I have something more accurate, I will post it on Discord. But then we're looking for a ride back up to the top of the trend, which will be 5%, 4.5%, something like that. 
So for the Tomo heads, that's uh, something to watch for over the next couple of hours. Um, I'm looking at Solana and I'm, I was about to say, gee, it might be breaking through there. And it's definitely not. Uh, it's following Bitcoin, which seems to be printing red right now and is coming deeper into this zone over there, which could be good. Um, but it has lost the 382, which is an area that we were watching. Yeah. So for me, um, for me, I'm watching this 19 area. If we lose that 19, I think we. Are, yeah, that's we that. that was, I was going to say that um, I'm now eyeballing the 618. This range yeah. really strong. You, know, you can see strong liquidity there, right? Pumped off it, pumped off it, pumped off yeah. it. So I'm kind of wondering if we're going to do something like that right now. In fact, is what if you are on the Discord, you are about to get your soul alarm to say, "What's up." 19.15 it's about to ping you so it's yeah. almost decision time for you uh as yeah. well guys this is the bottom of support for soul yeah yeah, uh, yeah. next area then is 8.6 so yeah decision time coming for everyone yeah yeah for for me as a dollar cost the average room soul i i actually hope it does that because then it can buy more yeah. cheaper um yeah for the spot buyers it's a yeah it's another game you're playing yeah uh, Unfi is the other one that I'm looking at. Uh, let me zoom in just a bit so you can see it. You know, very simple play. You know, range plays are easy. Range plays, you basically buy the bottom, sell the top, short the top. And it's coming right back down into the zone here. Um, so let me zoom in just a bit so you can see. So, frankly, any, you, know, you gotta watch out for the spikes. Right, because it's likely to come to in this area. Um, you can tell that there's just a lot of long orders sitting over here. So sometimes they'll drive price down low quickly, grab along to push it back up. Um, so you don't want to get stopped out by that. But shy of that, this actually looks like a pretty good zone. Let it come down to at least that the same level as that low right there. And uh, or possibly the other way to do it if you want to play it a little safer instead of trying to grab the exact low right over here um instead of doing that sometimes and you might miss the trade if you do this but it's safer if you wait for it to come up break the trend retest and then and then grab grab the long from there you might miss out on half a percent or a percent but it'll be probably a safer trade uh, on something like this so i'll post the two options on discord for unfi but that would be a um, what's that right, thanks Coming yeah, in hot to the Yeah, I think this one's gonna be this one's gonna be ready in, in you know the next little bit. And what we're looking at, hang on, we're looking at something like you know, six, seven percent. So that can be pretty. Okay, nice. Guys, if you're not on the banter Discord, you need to get on it because you're gonna get Bruce's charts now in the Discord. You can look at them whenever you want. Um, yes. and if it hits certain areas, you're gonna get an alarm. Same with David's charts, same yes. with Simon, same with my stuff. Um, yep. you'll be getting pinged all day if you want. Um, yep. you'll get uh, levels, levels till you blue in the face, basically. Um, but that's what we do here. We love these charts. We stare at them all day when we're doing all the yep. work for you. Um, cool. What else you got there, Bruce? That's what I'm looking at for right now. Uh, I'm taking, I'll, uh, take a couple of charts from, uh, from our audience if you want after, after yeah i'm busy drawing a list here as well so dave what do you what, you got a pepe short for us guys brace yourselves pepe <laughs> short incoming let's see what we got so just to recap uh this is what i have drawn out for my bitcoin scenarios so two things are going to happen U.S. session is just going to send us down, yeah. make everybody bearish. Yeah. I'm looking for the SFP, yeah. um, reclaiming the weekly level. And what's amazing is that um, what Dylan had mentioned, the 618, if you look at the macro. Um, let me go ahead and clear this up a little bit. <clears throat> uh, this one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Satya G doesn't really doesn't like our music, bro. We like our music. It's trading we, time, you know. Um, I, I know. did I fix your audio I did settings, turn you know? it down for you. <laughs> I did turn it down for you a little bit, but we like the vibe, guys. You know, it yeah. makes us feel like we we trading. 
All right, one day we'll put on some smooth jazz for people. Yeah, we, we, we'll mix it up. I don't forget our resident DJ is David, and he's going to make yeah, some David. tracks for us that we'll play in the background. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm working on something there. So. Okay, Dave, um, as you were. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Um, so the music guys, stage. <laughs> so you guys can see the low here. Um, we just drew the fib to the very high, and that's what gives us this sniper zone pocket, uh, which lines up with a weekly level. So there's a lot of confluence here. This area is going to get hit. I feel very, very confident it's going to get hit. Whether it's right now or it's touching this resistance area first, and then this is a second scenario. So with that being said, this is what I'm looking at. Um, talk about the Pepe short first. So I took a Pepe short. Um, and let me see if I can kind of make this a little bit more clear picture for you guys. So, first of all, I took this low here, took it to the high to get my first bid, and you could see the retracement almost hit the 618. Um, I think this was on Friday, yeah, and somebody mentioned Pepe was pumping, it was like 13%, and I was like, man, I want to short this thing. But usually, your instinct to, to do a first short um, is very short-lived and you can see that it was it, it did this little dip touched the 618 came back up but we are in this resistance area and we have this new trend line forming from here this is the 15 minutes so from here almost had this potential like scam candle <laughs> whatever you want to call this uh that could be a potential touch third touch fourth touch so, yeah, you know, I took the short, um, I basically drew another fib from the top to the low or wherever this, this 618 is, we'll call this our sniper zone area, but it basically wicked 2% above the 618. And I entered, let me see if I can tell you guys my entry. So yeah, 7150, uh, I didn't call this on the discord because it's just kind of uns uh, unsure of, of where uh, Bitcoin, what is going to do first, but I'd like to see it push up, you know, that scenario where I said, you know, for it to push up into that resistance area and then pull down. So if that happens, I would set an alert, right? It's going to probably do something like this. It's going to touch this trend line again. So if you guys want a precision entry, let's go ahead and set an alert at the bottom of this block. I'll probably add more. I don't, I don't have a crazy position. I just, it was a starter position because I was ready to add more. Um, so at the bottom of this block here, let's go ahead and add another one here. Um, because, you know, we tend to see these wicks that go past the order block for just a second. So for example, we might see something like this. Everybody's bullish. We're at the resistance and then the U S market sends us back down. And I would think at least the 618 or lower. So, um, it's a 10% move. And I don't think there's anything bullish about Pepe. Um, no, not anymore. I mean, uh, not anymore. Yeah, that's just the hype is gone. I think this is like a little relief candle um, to get all the other, you know, the long, the people that have been holding shorts um, to close their positions. But we do have another area here. So if the whales want to pull a game, just be aware. Um, you could probably uh, set your stop loss above this wick here. Uh, and then if it goes higher, this is where it's probably going to stop. And this is where you for sure want to re-enter. And this is now a macro trend line, right? So what does the macro look like? This is what it looks like. Yeah, that's a trend massive. line, trend, yeah. trend, trend, touches, touches, what went below reclaimed. So if this stays in this channel, macro wise, right? It might go like this. So if Bitcoin, you know, it's Pepe will have these random 10, 15% pumps. If it does, that is going to be a golden opportunity for a short. And uh, this would probably be a swing short, probably some bounces along the way, but ultimately we're probably going to get down there and that's going to be, yeah, that'll be a nice swing short. So 
Um, start of the short, we'll see um, what it gives us, but um, those are some areas and some things to be aware of. We have this trend line here, and then we have this trend line here. Order block here, order block here. Set your alert here, and you have your, set your alerts right here. Okay, dump that in the Discord for us as well. Sure, I will. Okay, sure. Teddy says popcorn, popcorn, popcorn. Um, cool. Guys, so I'm looking at a few requests here. I've got Link, Doge, WLD, QNT, Unibot, uh, Reef, INJ. There's tons that I've pulled out of the charts. I mean, out of the chats. Um, Bruce, do you want to do QNT and Reef? Dave, can you do QNT and Reef? Dave, can you do Doge? Can you do Doge and Doge? I can uh, draw it up real quick. Um, I do have WorldCoin um, real quick. Oh, oh yes. yeah, me too. We, we made that okay. call. Well, let's see what you got. Show us what you got. Yeah, so I, I was updating you guys on the Discord. We took the long last week, like down here. Um, I drew this scenario that uh, it was trying to break the triangle. It got rejected, and then it had its break. And then I posted last night before I went to bed that I was taking profits, um, and I took profits. I closed 75% of my position here at 175. You can see this new order block uh, that is formed right here. Okay. Um, so drawing the fib from down here to the high, this new high, the 382 might be a good entry, but yeah, that's risky in my opinion. I think a better entry would probably be um, at the 618 potentially. Um, and if Bitcoin has that 20, 25, eight, uh, level, uh, or if it goes that way, um, then yeah, that I can kind of see this happening, right? So it might get back inside the triangle and then it pops back up. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Um, most of my position is closed, uh, still in the long. Hey, if, if Bitcoin has that rise to resistance, we'll probably do one of these numbers. React off of 382, go past the order block a little bit, and then reject. So, so. I took a scalp WLD long earlier, about an hour and a half ago. Um, let me show you mine. It looks very similar to yours. It was a basically a 382 play. Um, okay. So this is what got my attention on WLD, was this thing. So we need, yesterday we popped through. Remember, yesterday we were pushing, 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 and we actually popped through. And this was my resistance area that I was watching. Um, but I thought it might make sense to get a little scalp in here at 165, potentially, um, just to take advantage of this horizontal and this FIB situation and the trend. Um, for me, exit would be sub 618 here if we lose the 618. Where did you pull your 618 from there, Dave? Is mine in the right place? Did yes, we get the same, same spot. Okay. Yeah. okay. Um, yeah, so it's funny, you know, like I love TA, <laughs> it's the best, but I mean, so you long, you long 618, I'm trying to be long here at uh, 166, so let's see how it plays out. Um, is there still juice in this token though? Is it going to do like what TLB did or is this thing tired? I suppose that's the question we need to ask ourselves here. Um, if this thing's got more in the tank, but we'll find out if we lose this trend, I suppose, then it's over. Let's see how we go. Um, Casey. <laughs> Casey says, Dylan, are you buying the top? <laughs> um, I've just lost my screen here, guys. Uh, Bruce, I'm yeah. going to hand over to you then, all day. Oh, okay. um, I'm going to load up these charts that they want from the chats. Okay. Um, Dave, can I give you a screen back? Sure, I can show a few more things. Okay, let me load up these charts here. I've got a stack here, and there's also Unibot, guys, and uh, RLB, I think we need to take a look yeah. at. I got Quantum Reef ready whenever you're ready. So. Okay, guys, um, just set an alert right here at Firmatic 0.5325. I'm looking for a short with that Bitcoin scenario I just talked about. I drew a fib from the very top here to the bottom. And that's what's giving me this little sniper zone area, this little two blue lines. So what I'm seeing is very simply something like that. I love, so I love the trade. Yes. Yeah, I like that. Yes. Sir. Sniper zone. yes. The science. Yeah. The zone of science. <laughs> uh, very simple uh, Maddox short setup there. Spell, um, it's, you know, 
We lost the trend. I told you guys get out. You know, it's very simple. Loses the trend, get the F out. Um, so what I saw here is I had this trend line. I got notified. Um, and then I didn't enter the trade because I drew another trend line here. You can see, you just always draw trends where you can, right? I, I saw this potential thing here. And I actually, so my alarm went off. I set a limit order um, because I didn't want to mark it. I thought Spell was going to do another deal here. And my limit order never got hit. I woke up. I thought I was in the short. I was like, hell yeah. I'm going to wake up to profits and Spell. And I didn't. <laughs> so sometimes that happens. Um, but look at this trend line here. So uh, if Bitcoin plays that scenario where we fight resistance, I am looking to short Spell right here. Another reason why I think Spell is going to go lower is they had an announcement that they are not a pump and dump and that there's actually some kind of use case with Spell. So they're defending it, meaning I think the whales Trust are like, us, guys. <laughs> let's, uh, <laughs> let's not pump and dump this thing anymore. Let's just let it bleed as just it should. Just for the next few months, we won't anymore. <laughs> yes. So uh, I think the radar... Um, is on this token. Uh, they're trying to build a good reputation for themselves again. Um, so for that, I'm being short. I'm, I'm, I'm leaning bearish now. We lost the trend on bearish. So same thing. Um, it, you know, I might even do some crap like this, but we have lost the trend. So I, you can see here, I also have an alert at this order block at five, three, two, six. So if it gets there, I'm just going to add and add and add. And then if it starts to reclaim the trend, get out. But for yeah. now, it's looking dumpy. Uh, at least down here, coming coming all the way back down here, which would be a 10% move. Cool. Pass it back to you guys. Let me hand it over to Bruce. I've nearly got my stuff. Bruce, there's your screen. You might just want to zoom in a little bit. Yeah, somebody I can see who was was asking about Reef um, from the higher time frame. Uh, you can sort of see what it's been doing, which is a long, long 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 sad decline um gosh since 2022 yeah it's just been kind of leaking downward um zooming in on it a little bit we can see that it is uh found quite a bit of support at this level right here uh just below and it's right just below the 50 day moving average which is kind of our new thing in this particular market Trying to figure out what it would do next. I mean, what, you know, what seems to happen is it consolidates and then makes a little pump. Consolidated, made a pump, came back, made another pump. Um, you know, I don't know exactly what you're looking for in this, but if you're looking for long, uh, you've got a kind of a, a pretty weak uptrend right there on the four hour. Uh, you could potentially take a long, you know, off of there and, and, and see if it does another pump. But frankly, and, and the problem is that when, when tokens range like this, like like a, a tier B did and BLZ did, they go out of nowhere, right? It's like, boom, you, you, have no, you have no clue why it happened, why the Bs went to that particular token and, and went crazy on it. But I don't see any particularly strong setup on it right now, aside from kind of a lark that it might pump from the bottom of the support one day. Uh, I personally would just hold back on it. I'm noticing that the, the RSI is kind of in the middle, which is kind of non-committal. So, um, again, it's pretty strong support area right over here, but I don't see an indication that, it, 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 that it's got a reason to, to make a bump. Uh, the other one was um, Curve. Was it Curve? No, it was um, um, Quant, sorry. Uh, Quant. Quant's looking kind of sad, too. Uh, higher time frame. Uh, just been on a, and I used to actually track one quite a bit ages ago. It's been on quite a downtrend for quite a while. Um, thought that this area would offer support because uh, it did pretty historically quite a bit in the past. But, and this is the worry, it looks like it's lost it right here. You zoom in uh, into the four hour. It looks like it is lost or is in the process of losing. Come back losing this pretty strong support level right there uh, it's a pretty decent candle below it and the thing that's uh concerning about it if, if, you, if you're looking at this for for longer term is that 
there's basically nothing below. Right? Yeah, I don't bad. see any significant support levels. There's no SR, RSI, there's no moving averages, nothing down here to support it, which leads me to think that uh, this could be making for a hell of a short. Uh, it's not moving fast, right? So this is not one that moves particularly quickly, but this is 41% down to the next support level. Um, one looks very bleak, I agree. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think, I yeah. think there's a 786 at like 80 or something. And then, yeah, you know, it's this 40, 40 is the next one. <laughs> there, yeah. There's nothing right there. So, yeah. you know, the only thing I can see is this could be, you know, if it comes back up and we test this level, uh, a short down to there could, could happen. I don't suspect it'll happen quickly, but that's the only thing I see playing up for Quant right now. Rodolfo, did you buy the top of Reef there, bro? Let us know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, bull market. We, yeah, tokens, yeah. Yeah, Quant used to be kind of one of a darling token for a while, and it's just got into the land of sadness. Yeah, it, it looks pretty shitty uh, right yep. now. Okay, yeah. so let me, I've got some of my stuff running again. One of our, hey. uh, one of the guys that was watching yesterday told us to chart S STMX. And uh, oh, I mean, yeah. what an absolute ripper that thing was. Guys, I mean, you know, really, everyone in the chats, your contribution here is massive to what we're doing. And we appreciate what you're giving us. And it's great content for us. I mean, yeah. look at this thing. It broke trend yesterday. It came back and retested. And then it absolutely ripped again. So yeah. another banger from one of, our, uh, one of our audience members. Now we're trying to find an area where this thing can possibly pull back. Maybe we get to reload. Uh, yeah. What's bothering me now is it's a lower high here. Yeah. So let's yeah. see what type of pullback we get. Um, if that was the top, we're going to just play the 786 game again because it's played the 786 game for us a couple of mm -hmm. times now. So let's look for that 786 at uh, 0065. And then there is a 618, guys, at trend 00675. So those would be the pullback zones. It's not a long for me now. You no, can see no, why. No. I mean, we're at the top of this channel. You know, maybe we get one more push up there. Maybe. Um, so I'd rather wait for some kind of pullback. I mean, this would be amazing if we get this trend at 618. Yeah. Um, but remember, this thing likes the 786. Yeah. So maybe you want to play the 786 game there. Yeah. By the way, that is exactly what Tomo looked like when I was first introduced to it by uh, one of the students in school. Was that very consistent pattern? And, uh, you know, that was the beginning of a love story. Hmm. Well, fortunately, Rodolfo didn't buy the top of Reef. Um, Steve yes. says, wow, TRB again. Steve, we did do TRB, bro. Do you want to see it again? Or is it moving again? Is it pumping? Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's <laughs> TRB. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> it's funny. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're still dancing between fibs, guys. That's all yep. you need. You just yep. need some fibs. Uh, there we go. Bing, bing, bing. Uh, let's see what happens. Maybe we can build a nice little flag here. Let's see. Maybe we get an, a reload. Let's see what. Yeah. Let's see what it gives us. Let's see. Yeah. Could be nice. Yeah. Abdul says Adam's going to the six one eight. Yeah, guys. There's a lot tracking down to those six one eights now. Um, it's actually getting quite exciting. We might be, we might get some opportunities shortly. Um, I've got Rose and BCH from the crowd as well. So Rose no. is an interesting one. I've got a 618 for Rose. Um, you know, we've just had Abdul talking about Atom coming to a 618. Well, we might have Rose coming to a 618 too. Um, I know Rose does know how to move a bit. So maybe give it some time. These are order blocks, guys. These are the Lux Algo order blocks that we use as well, part of our strategy. David uses them a lot as well. Yeah. Um, so you can see I've got a 618 down here and I've got a Lux Algo order block in this area on the four hour. So to me, that's showing me that it's quite a strong area. Um, so look out 0 0.039, 0 0.04, that sort of area. You might want to start looking at, uh, at something there on rows. Otherwise, if anything happens before that, you can just play the break again, look for that retest, look for that support. And then you can you can take it. 
BCH. We were looking at this the other day. Uh, we were saying just track this trend. So this is a this is a great example, guys. Um, once you see this downtrend, you can just track this trend down. When it breaks, you can take advantage of that break if you need to. Um, what do we got here for for BCH though? We got resistance higher up here, two two five, and we've got this little trend down here. If we look at these two, we've got that. Let's see what we have with uh, Fibonomics here. Okay, well, we got that 382, we got the 618 lower down. Okay, so this 618 looks nice because we've got that horizontal as well. Okay, so what could be interesting, maybe um, you could get something like that. We'll move on to this 382 potentially. Uh, if we lose this trend, though, I'm looking at a bounce at the 618, guys. And I think BC, BCH tracks quite nicely with Bitcoin, I think. Um, so just eyes on what BTC is doing there, I think, as your guide. I think it gets energy from BTC. I don't know if it's a, as much as stacks. Uh, Crypto King says BCH is bullish. GLMR, we need to look at that one. Okay, injective. We did have a request for injective. So, yeah, I'm looking at it in this rising channel, rising wedge. Um, potentially, you can move higher. What we saw today was a little pullback onto a 618. So, we up pulled this little 618 here. And we got that little bounce on the 200 day MA, guys. Don't forget about the 200 day MA and 618 when they work together. Um, so nice reaction there for, for injective. Let's see how it plays out. This was our TP yesterday. We said these two areas were our TP zones, the 382, 618. Those were our TP targets. Um, so right now, yeah, th there's no play here for me right now. The play was at 6.95. I think that was the entry. Uh, see what you get. See if we get more downside first. Let's see what we get over there again at another visit to 695. But I, I'd say the prime entry is gone now. Um, now we go to we go to pulling trends and things like that for our yeah. next entry so let's just give you an example so we pull a trend from there okay and we'd start tracking this trend now so if we do now get a break up you can play that momentum so you can look for something like that you know you can play that kind of move but i wouldn't be long here the long was that little bounce there or um, even lower now at uh, the 6.8 if we lose that area Did we do yeah, we didn't do unibot but we covered unibot the other day briefly yep. unibot and rollbit i think we need to talk about these things every now and again um, yeah. i know carl was talking about rollbit again so maybe we must take a look at that chart uh these were the areas we were watching remember we had the support here, yeah, support support and then we dipped lower you can see why it's bounced there quite an obvious bounce zone mm -hmm. so uh, yeah i would i think this is only a spot buy anyway i don't think you can trade perps on this thing um probably not a bad dca situation because unibot is actually a project it's not uh, like some absolute shit coin or well, as far as i understand um you can play the trend you can look for maybe this move down here um otherwise play that trend um and you can climb into that one mm. okay quant you mm. covered bph guys i need to wrap five could minutes take, could you take a look yeah. at pyr Vulcan forge Someone's asking for it. It looks interesting. Bottom of range, I think. Yeah. But look what it, look at the uh, candle on the uh, four hour. I just got this huge spike right up to the moving average, the 50 day. That's kind of interesting. Okay, let me just get rid of these order blocks. Yeah. So this is the four hour. Look, I mean, if we zoom out of this thing, guys, I think it's quite yeah. clear. Yeah. Massive range here. Mm -hmm. There's a massive order block down here. Big buy area, 2.7. Mm -hmm. It has lost this little trend here. Mm -hmm. So I would say any moves up potential shorts. So, you know, even if you do get that pump, 
you do get that pump up, you could possibly look for a short there right, based right. on the information we have here. Uh, let's see. But we know this is something you want to have, uh, like, and I'm sure Rodolfo will confirm this too because I know he likes his gaming tokens. But if you need your own gaming tokens for the next bull run, I'd say this is one of them. This and yeah. Nakamoto Games. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Rodolfo, let us know in the comments. Uh, Rodolfo says Unibot is going to melt faces. Well, it already has melted faces, and then <laughs> some of everyone is on top though. Uh, they they're feeling another type of melt. Uh, if you paid 220 for your Unibot, it's now 50. Um, hopefully, hopefully we get it back again. Uh, Tommy says PR PYR is gold. Rodolfo yeah. Green PYR is something to hold. Yeah. Um, N yeah. wants STMX. We did we did look at STMX uh, already. Just uh, go back a couple of minutes there. Um, B Cash he says BCH will melt faces. The name is B Cash. <laughs> I suspect he likes. I suspect he likes <laughs> maybe he has a bag. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah I do not okay. Guys, let's do let's do two more. Um what do you what else you got there, Dave? What are you looking at? <clears throat> Somebody was calling for Arbitrum, so I I got something here. Arb okay, give, it, give us some Arb. Um, good. <laughs> guys, okay. just a note from Vet. I was looking at this earlier. Somebody wanted Vet. Uh, same story, guys. We might just be waiting for the 618. It's, we've seen yeah. this on so many tokens. Maybe it's yeah. a sign just to be patient. Maybe. Yeah. Um, it's yeah. just happening on so many. The more we look at, the more we're seeing, they might want to just come there. Um, so maybe just, yeah, just be a little bit more patient. Okay, Dave, I'm adding your screen. Okay. So we have two trend lines to pay attention to. We have uh kind of the macro yeah. trend line break of trend but now we have a smaller time frame trend so if we go to the one hour starting at uh august 20th trend line touch trend line touch trend line touch i would assume this would have been another trend line touch but i heard there was a uh, a huge whale that just capitulated so that's what this was a whale got wrecked <clears throat> so then we had break of trend looks like um, retail it was buyback but now uh, if you are in a long on ARB uh, for the break of trend Arb. then uh, you're probably like like <laughs> frogs. Uh, or, uh, you're probably going to want to take your profits right here and uh, I've set in a short order right here actually so yeah. thanks for pointing that out so I have a short yeah. alert at uh, 0 0.8583 so what i'm seeing is some type of deal like this which would be 13 percent move to the downside that's arb arb arb, arb. arb. <laughs> i can't help myself whenever i hear arb i can't, I can't um. either I like a frog <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, we got to, we got to wrap this up. Um, fun as usual. Uh, thanks yeah. for being here. I hope you guys got some good setups from us. Uh, you know, <laughs> TRB. It's quite hard to beat <laughs> what we did yesterday. Yeah. But let's. Oh, we'll see. find one. We'll find one. Okay, yes, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. We back same yep. time. Check the Discord. Oh, don't forget Bitget. We are doing the Bitget competition. You got to sign up urgently. Uh, it's starting in four days' time. It's during the month of October. Me and Sheldon on the same team. Uh, uh, join in the link. It's Sheldon and my team. Go there, sign up, be on our team. Uh, Bruce yep. will be trading with us. Simon's trading with us. David's trading with us. Um, yeah, we, yeah, we're very excited, man. Um, okay, guys, see you later. Thanks for this. Um, we'll Thank see you, you tomorrow. Everybody.